Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tie my water boatman fly, and we're going to start off with the TMC 3769 size 12 hook. And I've got about six to eight wraps of 015 behind a killer caddis, gunmetal metallic, medium sized glass bead. Okay, the version we're going to be tying today is kind of a lighter olive, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with an 8 dot olive thread. I'm just going to build a little thread dam behind the lead there, wrap towards the bead, lock it in place. Next, I'm going to go ahead and build a little thread base. This is going to be a good guide. It just kind of lets us know where to stop when we go ahead and mount our other materials and wrap back. Okay. First material on this fly is going to be thin skin. And this is modeled Buster Natural. All right. And you can see how I kind of cut it at an angle right there. I like to cut it about, oh, about as wide as the hook gate. All right. Let's go ahead and mount that in right on top. Now this does have a glossy side to it. I like to mount that glossy side down. That way when we fold it over on the, later in the fly, that shows on top. Now you can see how easy that was having that angle cut and that thin skin. How easy that was just to mount right on top of the shank. All right. Again, using our thread base as a guide, wrap that thin skin back to that point. Okay, back towards the bead. Next material, pearl lateral scale. And that just goes right on top of the hook shank as well. And we're just going to wrap that back around the bend again. And I just kind of like to lift it up, make sure I'm getting all the way back. Okay, looks good. All right. Next material on the fly is going to be our dubbing. And we're going to be using a light olive UV ice dub for this. And when I dub this fly, I actually like to create several different dubbing noodles for this. Um, if you try to dub this fly all at once, um, you're going to find that the dubbing is probably going to end up pretty loose. These water boatmen do have um, a very robust cigar shaped body. So if you're going to go ahead and try to build that body with all the dubbing at first, and you're going to end up with something really loose that the trout teeth will easily tear apart. So. What I like to do is just start off with really nice tight dubbing noodle. Right, and I'll start right here behind the bead. I'm going to work my way back towards the bend. Okay, and as I come forward, I'm going to try to hover a little bit more there in the middle. We're going to start to define that cigar shape. Okay, we're going to add some more dubbing to our thread. You know, just really like to try to twist these these dubbing noodles on here fairly tight. Okay. I'm gonna start by hovering just a little bit in the middle here for a minute. Work forward real quick and tighten up that dubbing some more, and then just kind of work back towards the bend. Okay. You can see that we got a really nice cigar shape to that body. Now, one more thing I like to do here, just to secure and tighten up that dubbing body one more time is I'll go ahead and now you don't need much because we've already pretty much defined the shape of our body but what I like to do is I'll go ahead and come in and with some UV resin and I'm just gonna dab that that body on there All right now with this last little dubbing noodle here I'm not worried about building any bulk all I'm worried about doing is using this last dubbing noodle as kind of a a tool to lock in the rest of this body. And so I'm not going to make adjacent, adjacent wraps. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of spiral my way towards the eye of the hook pretty quick. And you can see how that's just going to go ahead and really lock in that dubbing. Now, you can go ahead and mount in the legs uh, now if you want, but since I'm going to keep working with uh, some UV resin, um, I'm going to go ahead and complete the body. So it doesn't matter. You can, you can do the legs first or you can do them after. Go ahead and complete the body by pulling over the lateral scale. Lash it down right behind the bead. Now I'm going to go ahead and take and just add a little tiny drop of UV resin to the top of that lateral scale. I'm going to pull over my thin skin. I like to pull it pretty tight. 
just lash that down there right behind the bead. A few wraps. Let's go ahead and trim that thin skin a little bit, get it out of the way. Okay. And at this point, go ahead and set our resin. And what that's doing is that's really locking everything in place. It's going to make that thin skin stick to that lateral scale. Feel that? It feels nice and tight. All right. Next step in the fly is to go ahead and put our legs in. And for our legs, we use Sexy Floss. I've got an olive color here to match the uh, color I'm tying. And you can see right off the bat here, I'm hardly even moving my fingers and this stuff just wiggles. Very buggy stuff. And you can see also that it comes kind of with a little natural curve in it. All right, we're going to use that to our advantage. All right. Meaning if I'm going to mount this leg on the near side of the hook towards me first, I'm going to mount that curve facing me. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. I mount leg on top with the curve facing me. I'm going to pull it to the side. I'm going to show you what that created. As you can kind of see right there, that curve of that leg really created a little natural bugginess to the fly. All right, let's finish up the leg on the other side. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this flexi floss straight up on the far side of the shank. We're going to come in and just lash it down there on that far side. And then I'm not going to trim the legs exactly. Right now I'm just trying to get them to look identical. And I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up back our thin skin. A couple wraps there. And then we can go ahead and trim our lateral scale up front. All right. To finish this fly, we're going to go ahead and just add another little drop of UV resin to the top. And then we're going to create just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest dubbing noodle here. Be, re be very, very, very careful right here. This is very easy to overdo and ultimately will make your fly look pretty sloppy. But just the tiniest amount of dubbing. And just I'm looking for maybe two or three turns. There's two, there's three. And I like that. What that does is that kind of cleans up our fly. Um, that uh, UV resin soaks up in the dubbing. And we're just going to go ahead and finish with the whip. Okay. All right. Go ahead and trim out any unwanted fibers here. Looks good. We can trim our thin skin on top. I just like to trim that down to a small tag. You can see that. Let's go ahead and set the rest of our resin. Okay, and for the legs here, just to trim the size, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pinch the legs at the front to the rear of the fly. Then I'm going to pinch them in back and hold them both at the same time and come in with my scissors and just put them right there against the bend of the hook and trim them up. It's going to give you a really nice accurate trim for your legs. Just finish fly. Tim's water boatman.